That's my problem was custom Chevy pickup truck right there. Uh, 96. <laughs> yeah, Chevy pickup truck, you know. Uh, I'd like to get my hands on that one, right? It ain't gonna happen though. A little while back, uh, an alligator, that's what they call it, you know, that's the ribbon of tire that comes flying off the those semi-trailers. You know, those cheap Chinese tires they have on the on those uh, chassis, those frames that you see on the highway. Well, one of those, like, popped off. And uh, that was like a whole half of semi-tire tire hit this truck. If it was a Toyota, it would have like crumpled the, would have crumpled the hood. Well, I can't show the codes here. Don't want to be, don't want to be too real. Oh, the wife's car over there. I, I got a part for it about a year ago, and uh, this imaginary character, I call the goner. It's like this, this little impish, like, character that I imagined existed since I was like three years old. I call him, I call him the goner, okay? He's like this little impish character that, <clears throat> he makes things just disappear. Well, anyway, I, I, about 10 months ago, I got the brake power booster for that car right there. And the in-laws are on vacation, so. The wife is staying at, at the palace here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, all this is scrap. And uh, I lost it. There's the... I guess that's scrap. That's the high chair that all the cousins, all my kids, all my nieces and nephews were fed off that thing. So my father-in-law is scrapping out all this stuff here. That Barbie right there. This table. I guess the Barbie still works. Your typical condition on the inside. I just see so many of these things I each one of them looks like garbage to me. So yeah my father-in-law's giving me all this uh backyard stuff to scrap out but actually these are these are in better shape than than most of them. I think I can only take one though, because I got a. I have an aircon inside there. A big old one. Right now, just got done thunderstorming and raining, and uh, <laughs> as soon as that sun gets out, going to take all that wetness on the ground and it's going to put it at a sweltering 97 degrees and right now it's about 70 something out yeah so I found this on the way here so I was supposed to Safe. 
hey send me your stickers and your uh, your channel send me some stuff some tools you'll have uh, <laughs> whoever whoever you are uh, you'll have endless endless promotions on my channel because I'll just show it over and over just out of gratitude it's like a free a free channel plug Minivan life, you can only take one. Horn share. Guess he's got stuff on the other side of the house too. There was a, a natural gas leak or something like that in the ground here. And uh, the trees all died right there. And This type of bush, which is, uh, I don't know what they call it, but it's native to this area. But this past winter, it got down to negative 32 below for a couple days there in January. And uh, the bush died. I mean, obviously you didn't have leaves on it during the winter time, but it got so cold that I guess it couldn't come back out of being dormant. I don't know. <clears throat> oh, and my father has got, got scrap over here too. A base. And I guess he, uh, switched out the lights at the house. Put those LED lights in there. So, you keep... Here's something that's aggravating. You keep trying to be, become more energy efficient. And the more energy efficient you be, become, they keep raising the electric rates. So, <clears throat> you would think that you're becoming energy efficient, you're going to get a lower power bill. But they keep raising the rates, you're using less electricity, they're charging more. What's the point? I guess my father-in-law changed his brakes on the, on the truck, and uh, he sure don't let them wear down, does he? Look at that. There's a lot of There's a lot of meat left down there. You know, I drive that van up here, but I hate this driveway, this concrete driveway. It's really a steep hill. There's a lot of Saturns on the road still. <clears throat> so they built this house a long time ago, about 20 years ago. And it's on a Sound kind of like an artificial, well, semi artificial hill because there's a river down there. On there. But, you know, it's been built up. And uh, the driveway keeps sinking and pulling away from the foundation. And it's being dragged out that way. You can see how it's causing the sidewalk to buckle and twist and then uh, the driveway apron is beginning to lift like that because you got all this weight like this pushing on that sidewalk causing it to lift also there's utility digs there too and uh, it's causing the sidewalk to sink along with that but the sidewalk has sort of a tilt to it all along. Right here, it's like kind of tilting up just a little bit. 
because it's putting pressure on this driveway apron where it used to be at a, a lower angle and now it's starting to go up. So when you back out of the driveway here, see the chunks out of the concrete? That big one is from my, uh, <clears throat> from my old Cadillac a long time ago. The uh, lower shock, uh, shock absorber support hit the curb and took a chunk of the, <laughs> the Cadillac, took a chunk of concrete out. That's kind of hilarious. Didn't do anything to the Cadillac, but, but there's a whole bunch of other scrapes along there. They're not for me. <clears throat> Plus the slab had to be replaced because that tilted so much that, oh uh, yeah, that's, in the end gravity wins, right? So I, I don't see this lasting a whole lot longer, this driveway, $15,000 concrete driveway. You know, and uh, a lot of the videos you see of like people that live in England, I don't see a lot of, for some reason you don't see a lot of use of concrete. You see, you see people with like those square pavers and stuff. You know, for their walkway and for their drive. Well, they call it a drive. We call it a driveway. <laughs> but their drive leading to the garage is usually made of bricks or some kind of paver. People do that here, but it's usually they're trying to be fancy or or if it's old, uh, they're trying to be cheap. <clears throat> of course, those decorative blocks, they don't last long either. They, they start to erode after a while. Nice place though. Oh, worth about a half a million. Prices uh prices of real estate are astronomical here in Illinois. And I don't get it. I really don't get it. Cause the real estate taxes are like freaking unbelievable. Alright kids, I know I got all that crap and I try to I try to be nice, I try to remove this crap. But sometimes I have put it over there. This is this is for the my wife's car because I guess it's got an airbag recall. And uh, I tried telling her that you know, if you don't have the if you don't have the airbag recalled and you get in an accident, right? And you get hurt in the accident, you know the insurance company can wiggle out of paying you an injury claim because you didn't do the due diligence to make sure blah 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 blah. Yep, you're giving the insurance company wiggle room. See you in the next video.